have big problems in the city and we cannot think only of an, one building. We have to think about the whole city, about the environment. There's a need for a reduced resource consumption. In the end, sustainability starts and ends with the user. And I think this is the challenge of this competition, to interact with the environment and with the whole city. The Solar Decathlon uh, challenges uh, universities and schools around the world uh, to compete and build a net zero energy powered home. I love a lot of the other houses here. Um, one of the main reasons I did this is because you get to see 19 other ways to approach this competition. Ce qui est intéressant dans le Solar Decathlon, notamment dans cette édition 2014, c'est que nous avons une richesse au niveau de la provenance des prototypes. Some of them are retrofits, some of them are additions to existing buildings, some are new buildings, some are trying to deal with disasters. I think this experience taught all of us what it's like to work on a team. Um, something that you learn that's really important in engineering school is that you can't do your homework by yourself. It's really important to work with other careers as a team because that's real life. It's a lesson learned about meeting your deadlines, for instance, how important it is. Twenty teams of 16 countries are all sharing that same idea. This has been wonderful, learning from our neighbors, uh, doing that cultural exchange, and the homes have been really awesome too. So amazing, after two years working very hard on this project, to see the public, to see the emotions uh, they bring into this building. It's about education, learning, and discovery. Not as a contest, but as a, a method of teaching and learning. It's not really competitive, we're more like one big team. It is a, a nerve-wracking experience, you know, you've worked so hard and getting 20 minutes to sum it all up to a jury can be a really challenging thing. People, they have to, uh, to rethink about the basic idea, basic thinking about architecture, so it's the chance. It is surprising if you work hard, if you distill your message, it is surprising how few English words you actually need to capture interest in your project. It's really great to have people who really know what they're doing and come through and talk to you about something that you've been putting your life into for the last two years. Bref, pas uniquement un problème d'équipement, mais de, de, de saine conception assez sobre en énergie. Well, definitely, we started to feel at home in this house now, especially after now, after the jury visits are all finished and all the pressure is away, you know. On regarde particulièrement des solutions construites qui satisfassent aussi bien des critères architecturales que constructives. I don't think it's the first generation that look at sustainability, but I think it's the first generation that's being forced to look at sustainability. Before people looked at it, it's a point of interest, it's a, it's a personal value. C'est un nouveau jury qui s'intéresse pas seulement à la maison, mais à l'environnement de la maison. Affordability has to do is almost a social dimension. It has to do with whether people at a certain socioeconomic income group can afford the building that you offer. Competitions between Europe and the United States are uh, quite a bit different. There is a whole lot more focus on community, on socialization here at the European competition. <laughs> I really feel so nervous, I'm shaking. We do the best for us, but... We are a winner, of course, everyone is a winner. That's, that's the main point. It is so inspiring what you do. So congratulations on all the hard work and the wonderful, wonderful houses that you designed and built. The third prize goes to... 
team. Then, wrong with the skin. Well, in the Netherlands, we have uh, 1.4 million uh, energy consuming row houses from the 60s. And we, with this pavilion, we show a solution for these row houses by putting over a second skin. The second prize goes to Atlantic Challenge. Le résultat, c'est plus que cette serre, c'est tout ce prototype qui est une extraction en fait, de, de la réhabilitation d'un bâtiment à Nantes. We are very proud to underwrite by calling Rob for All the people that is here have done something very special for their capacity to, to, to build a house in 10 days. That is something incredible. Il faut absolument que nous ayons un Solar Decathlon 2016. Nous y travaillons d'arrache-pied pour que d'autres équipes européennes prennent la suite. Tous sont bienvenus, qu'ils fabriquent des meubles ou des outils électroniques. Et c'est cette rencontre incroyable de culture technique, de savoir-faire, qui fait la richesse de Solar Decathlon. Je suis extrêmement honoré de faire partie de Solar Decathlon 2014. I can say that I really learned a lot from this whole project. I, I learned way more than in any of the courses within my master. That's your baby, you know. That's a fascinating and it remains fascinating all the professional life long. And they'll really change uh, a whole generation. I believe that the Solar Decathlon experience, the whole two years, completely changed my look at architecture in general. Here is the real world. This, this is this professional world. It's just been amazing. This has really been the most unbelievable experience in my life.